Hey everyone, welcome to Ty Roaster's YouTube channel. Today we're going to give you a little update on the Pontiac Trans Am and what we've been up to on that, so stay tuned. a video about two weeks ago and I said she'd be about a week's time until I had said video and uh, basically the rainy weather struck so I figured I'd get into a uh, wire tuck on the car and a few other things I've been putting off for years so basically yeah I did that it came out pretty nice so check it out this is uh, this is my basic tutorial type deal I don't know it's just basically showing you what I did and maybe how you could start doing it yourself maybe give you some inspiration so yeah check it out Finally taking care of the wire tuck on this car. I've spent so much time detailing the engine bay, deleting things, relocating the coil packs into the bumper. That was a cool little mod I did. But this here is that ugly harness that runs over the top of the fender here. And obviously you just run it through this side panel here. You cut a hole over here. Put these guys up here, pin them up with these guys, put your inner fender back in. And yeah slowly working away at getting uh, all this back together and hopefully get on the road when the weather starts getting nice again. We're also cleaning up this side of the bay as well. We have the hood release cable here. All you do is disconnect it from the actual latch itself, feed it back through, drill a hole here, remove your inner fender, string her up into there, have it come back. Let's see if I can get around this side here. Have it come out through here. And feed it back exactly where it came from hook it up boom cleaner looking fender right on excited about this wire tuck mod i've been putting it off for years it's so easy to do it's quick it's simple and it really cleans up the engine bay i'm also relocating the traction control oh god traction control i'm also I'm also relocating the cruise control module off the fender here, back behind the computer back here. Get those cables that would drape across the engine out of the way. I basically make a mount up here and it sits up here like this, so that's gonna be pretty neat. And yeah, basically between the wire tuck mod, the coil pack relocation, the LSX valve covers, um, the simplified power steering lines, I'm getting rid of this cooler, going to a different style cooler on the power steering pump and uh, mass air delete and a bunch of other stuff basically cleans up this engine bay unbelievably so i'm gonna get back to work on this and i will show you guys how it turns out so i finished the wire tuck and the cruise control module relocation clean up the fender really nicely um i use these little arp bolts just to uh plug the holes for now because i don't want to do any body filler or metal work or anything so yeah, I just gotta put some nuts on the other side and secure those, and I think they look a lot better than just open holes. Inner fenders are back in, they're really clean. Spend a bit of time cleaning up while they were out. And on this side, our hood latch cable has also been relocated. Here's a before picture of the inner fender before the tuck and the relocation of the cruise control module. <laughs> I don't I don't know how I didn't do this sooner. I mean it cleans up the engine bay so much. Here's an after picture of it. Just unbelievable. I, I'm going to paint the fenders at some point. Not right now. Next time the engine's out, I'll probably do it. There's some scraping and scratches in there from the previous owner. And yeah, maybe when we supercharge her down the road or something, we'll do that. Anyways, here's the process. Cutting the hole, running the one side of the harness after you unplug it. You just drill a little hole. 
probably like inch and three quarter or something like that. Here is the front where it comes through by the battery. And that's actually my coil pack relocation right there. This is the passenger side hood latch before, and this is after. Simple, but effective. So yeah, if you're thinking about doing a wire tuck on the engine bay of your fourth gen F body, don't hesitate. It's a free mod, it's easy, and uh, you know, it just takes a bit of time. Not much though, like probably, probably four hours you could have this done. And, uh, yeah, while I was doing this all, I actually decided that I wanted to finish up my coil pack relocation and actually just get the harness completely off of the uh, valve cover. And uh, yeah, basically a lot of soldering and you know, extending of harnesses here and you know, I ran everything all discreetly uh, along the inside of the finger wells here and stuff and it turned out pretty good. Here's the before picture. As you can see, it just doesn't look good. It looks cluttered, you know, it just looks like a mess. Um, especially after I did the coil pack relocation, you know, I cleaned up the valve covers so much, but then as I kept looking at it, I'm like, oh, this, there's gotta be a way to extend these and, you know, clean it up a bit. And yeah, we found a way. This is what it looks like after uh, extending and relocating the harness. As you can see, it's a ton of a lot cleaner. This is the uh, passenger side before, and uh, this is after. A lot of work, put a ton of hours into this, and uh, I think it turned out awesome. I removed each individual uh, connector and soldered them all individually, uh, color to color, and uh, yeah, heat shrinked them all that, and it was a lot of time. Here's the harness extended. What a mess. Lots of, lots of wiring. Lots of wiring. But uh, if you look on the far left there, that's actually my coil pack extension harness. You can buy those off of, uh, I don't know, eBay, Amazon, Summit Racing, places like that. And helps you relocate the coil packs wherever you please. Passenger side, same in the harness there. Basically what I did was I separated the injector harness from the main harness. And I just uh, independently extended and shortened all the wires for each uh, injector and uh, I made it as clean as I could make it. I just finished up the wire tuck and it is clean. Wow. No more wires draping across the fenders. No more coil packs on the valve covers and no more coil pack harness running across the valley. And it looks, I don't know, I'm just, I'm super happy with it. A lot of time uh, spent um, cutting and extending, soldering the harness and you know but here we are all done so basically i can move back on to finishing up this front end we're getting there we just got to put the coilovers in got the upper a arms lower a arms we just put them in there to uh basically test see if everything's articulating correctly and nothing's binding up and yeah it seems good so far so you could put it together and something could have went in wrong or crooked or something and you know, you got this problem that you have diagnosed by ripping it all apart again, and that's never fun. So what does age teach us? Do it right the first time so we don't got to come back and do it again. My God, learned that one the hard way too many times. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. We're going to get to work on the next video here and finish up some of this suspension stuff and uh, hopefully get the car on the ground and drive it soon. It's still raining out, so... I guess we'll have to wait for that too. So I don't know. We're getting going on the next video though. So we'll show you how she turns out. See you guys next time.